okay so guys in this video we are going to pop up the message box uh, through the assembly language uh, of windows uh, 32 bit so okay this is the uh, graphical user interface this is just a small message uh, pop up so first we need to find the function to call to uh, we can say uh, msdn uh, message box so it will create a small message box for us and you can see uh, the uh, description about this function and what it does so this is the syntax of the C++ uh, message box and the first one is the uh, handler to the H instance so that is the uh, instance to our main window we are not creating a main window uh, but uh, we are just creating the message box so this uh, option can be null and this is a uh, long pointer to constraint string and wrong pointer to text so this we need to uh, set to the address of the string we want to show in the message box and then wrong pointer to the caption that is the title of the message box and you can see u int u type you can keep uh, you can set this as a uh, ok message or the cancel message and etc you can see the description here so uh, you can see the value of this uh, u int if you uh, put the mb and message box underscore ok it will just uh, create the push button ok this is by default and you can see the ok cancel retry cancel and you can see uh, there are so many options for this uh, parameter now for simple uh, sim for simplicity purpose we will uh, keep this uh, mb underscore ok so this is our uh, hello world uh, program now instead of calling this std out I can say invoke and message box and the first parameter is the uh, handle to the window and we can uh, say null and then next one is uh, lp text uh, that is the pointer to the text we need to pass in the address of this hello world and again uh, the title of the uh, message box you can say as EDDR and hello world so you can change this uh, text as you like and we can say mb underscore ok message box underscore ok to display the ok push button so this is the uh, message box which is in the user32 dot library so we need to include that uh, user 32 also and we need to use the include file ok after including this we need to modify one uh, setting that is right click on your project and click on properties now on the linker and click on all options now you can search for subsystem so if you remember from the first video hello world uh, video we have used the subsystem as a console so by default it will be in the console ok now you can uh, change it to windows because it's a windows graphical user interface so that's why you need to change it to windows and click on apply click on ok now build the, the solution sorry <coughs> I need to say include rip sorry so now let's uh, build the solution now we have got the success yet. now we can uh, run this local windows debugger you can see the output uh, the hello world you can see the caption and the message are the same because we have passed the uh, same address of the same string so you can also modify this 
uh, caption uh, that is the title so if you click on ok the program exits so okay uh, that's all for this video if you want to create the uh, graphical user interface like message boxes you can uh, use the message box uh, make sure you include this user32.lib